I'm Natasha Antonioni. I'm a realtor here in Austin and I'm a design advocate. Today, we're gonna do a DIY makeover on this desk using chalk paint. We are working on these desks. Uh, a dear friend was getting rid of them, so I loved the shape as a unique shape. I was scouring Craigslist for uh, something unique, and I got them for free, which was awesome. What I did was I took some Annie Sloan paint because she's the best. I don't know why, but that's what I hear over and over again. I love the color because it's soft, but it will blend well with the room. What I've done so far is I've painted it. Today we're gonna do some waxing on it and then install some hardware, so stay tuned. One thing to know about chalk paint is that if you're a perfectionist, then you're gonna want to sand it. I did one very mild sanding over the top and that's it. I'm looking for a grain and a texture. So you basically take your paint and you just slop it on. Now I'll tell you one mistake that I did is that I went too thick with the paint. You can water it down and make your whole life a whole lot easier because her paintbrushes are heavy. So you slop it on, you do one coat, it's gonna be really spotty, and then your second coat, you just do another coat. And don't worry about being perfect as long as you're not getting it all over your house. Just make sure that it's opaque. One of the things that sold me on the paint was the packaging. I mean, her colors are fantastic. They're, they're beautiful, they're modern, they're fresh. We tend to have kind of a modern, eclectic, bohemian home. However, my office is my own thing without my husband's influence. And so I have the chandelier happening. It's gonna be girly in here and that's what I want. You wanna make sure if it's gonna be an active piece of furniture in your life that will have hands on it and real life activity that you put that coat of wax because it's gonna seep into the paint and create kind of a protective layer on it. So I'm just giving it a really good wipe down. Now you could use an old t-shirt. I'm using one of these like industrial work rags from Home Depot. I'm just taking some wax. I'm going in circular motions so it really gets into all the grooves. And then the problem that I hear over and over is that people use too much. So go lighter than you think. And I know that that is true for the paint because I went way too thick on the paint. But I did want that opaque look. After you get that layer on, you're literally just gonna wipe it off. And then you're gonna let it sink in. Give it about 24 hours and it will settle in and you won't even feel that it was there. You can see that it gives it that kind of smoother finish and then it deepens the color a little bit but the color should go back to the matte lighter color. You want it to get deep into those crevices so it doesn't peel when you hit it. It's so much nicer than using like a clear sealer because it's easier. The thing with chalk paint is that it's just so darn easy. Anybody can do it. So truth, we built this house and now the budget is tight. So it's time to get creative. But you know what, that's when the best things happen. So uh, that's where kind of the repurposing came in because I knew I needed my office to be Pimp Star, but I knew I didn't have a big budget. So that's where the scouring Craigslist began. And then just having something unique also. I didn't want, I have a modern house. I didn't want some clean new piece of furniture. I wanted something like different. Something that somebody else won't have. And then the universe provided. My philosophy is that build a home with meaning. And so when you look at your home and there's projects that you've done with your own hands, it just feels so much better. You, there's love in that, and it creates like an energy in your house that people feel when they walk in, and you feel when you walk in. I chose some hardware which it did not have previously, so this will be my first time installing hardware without my husband, but I am gonna do it. I got these off of Etsy, and I just think that they give that right glamorous touch, but they are metal, the black is metal, so it kind of works with the rest of my house. The last and final step is to add in the hardware. 
as you can see, I've already installed them everywhere else. So I measured them side to side and did right center line, and then I did one and a half inches from the top. And I made my dots in every spot. I did a little divot here, and now here we go. There she is. We're gonna take our hardware piece. I'm gonna push it in from the back. And then I literally just twist her on. I'm gonna take my Phillips head and make it nice and tight. And there we have it. Just gives it that little touch of glamour. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because we have videos coming out every Tuesday. We'll see you soon. And don't forget, live your dream already.